to this. I'm so grateful to be here this morning. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. If you are in position to do so, let's go ahead and sit our beautiful bottoms on the ground to get grounded. Remember that communication is 10% words, 90% body. When you hear people talk or when you watch people talk, you're mainly looking at what their body is doing. Their body is speaking louder than their words. So let's incorporate that into our meditation. So if you are in position to do so, let's go ahead and sit on the floor, get grounded. <sighs> Move your shoulders back and forth if you feel the need to do so like I do. Where is my little, where's my hammer? Here we go. Here we go. If you're sitting in a comfortable space, let's go ahead and close our eyes in this moment. Take a couple deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Remind yourself that today is a day that you have never seen before and a day that you will never see again. And for that, we should be so grateful. Just sit in gratitude these next couple seconds. Think about think about all the things that you did this week and you went to the store, you walked up a flight of steps, right? And you were okay. You made it to and from the store. Like give thanks for that. Express gratitude. When I pull up in my driveway, not all the time, but most of the time, when I pull up in my driveway, I say, God, thank you for letting me get home. Because I know that there are so many people that said, honey, I'm going to run to the store. And they literally never came back. So be grateful. We are literally miracles. If you think about it, when you're driving down the street, there is no guardrails. There is nothing stopping you from going over to the other side of the traffic. There's nothing stopping somebody else from coming into the other lane and hitting you head on. We are miracles it is a miracle it is so under s under um what's the word i'm looking for um we underestimate the power and the miracle of going to the store going to work and coming home we think it's normal we think we we, it, we deserve that like that ain't normal it's not normal it's a blessing every single time you make it to your destination. It is a blessing. So express gratitude for that in this moment. This moment, I want us to focus on the three M's that I learned over the weekend or last weekend in church. And it was so, so, so powerful. It was so powerful. The three M's, if you would like uh, to write these down when you get off of this meditation. It will be helpful to you to maybe put on your desk, put in your bathroom, put on your uh, refrigerator as a reminder. And the three M's is this. It's all about money. I want you to keep your eyes closed. And I want you to repeat this after me. This is what I learned in church. I did not make this up. Lord, help me make money. Help me manage the money and help me multiply the money. Let's say that again. As our focal point for today, Lord, help us make money. Lord knows I need help managing my money and help us multiply our money. That is our focal point this morning. I want you to sit with that and think about that. I want you to think about all the unconventional ways that there are to make money today. I know that we are all life coaches. Yeah, 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 I get it. But you're not just a coach. You're not just a coach. You have other gifts, other skills, other talents that you need to be using you need to be using your other gifts, your other skills, your other talents. I sit and I marvel 
at the fact that I am a 40, what, how old am I, Jesus Christ, 46-year-old, 47-year-old woman that sits on her floor and makes Barbie furniture. I have gifts and talents and abilities, and so do you. So do you. And I don't want us to just use one gift anymore. We, we are so multi-talented. And I know even I've been guilty of saying you need to niche down. And you do. I'm not going back on that. You do need to niche down. But you don't need to just focus on one thing, one thing, one thing. You can marry all your gifts and skills and talents together. Prime example. You guys are connected to me on my other social media platforms. If I'm doing something in my real life, I'll shrink it and make Barbie do it. And I've gotten clients and I've made sales from my Barbie page that had nothing to do with Barbie. It's just that I integrated life coaching over into Barbie. Come on, y'all. It's 2024. You don't need to leave your door. <laughs> You don't even need to go anywhere anymore. We This ain't our mother's world anymore. This ain't our grandmother's world anymore. How weird. Some of us at our age, we're even resisting some of the, the changes that are happening. I see so many people resisting chat GPT. Do you guys realize that they're going to replace us with these robots? Well, guess what? I'm sure some math teachers went out of had to revamp some things when the calculators hit the scene. It's time to adjust. It's time to move with the times. It's time to wake up and use, you know that, that old club song, if y'all remember, maybe it's just me, but use what your mama gave you, shake what your mama gave you, shake what God gifted you. God, help us make money, help us manage money, and help us multiply money. In this day and age, it should not be a struggle. It should not be a struggle. The last thing that we should be worried about or, or struggling with is finances. There's so many apps there's so many websites. There's so many ways. Oh my gosh. Lord, help us make money in the most unconventional, creative way. And God, when you're giving us ideas, also give us the courage to move in those directions. Give us the courage to step out and be the first to do it. If we Google it and we can't see a roadmap, we're going to conclude that we are the ones that's supposed to be the first. If you Google something and you can't find it, take that as your sign that you're the one, you're the blueprint, you're the one that's supposed to create it. Be bold. We're too grown. We are grown, grown, grown. Y'all, we are grown in this group. We are the generation that the 20-year-olds are looking up to. How dare you be afraid to make a video? How dare you be afraid to tell your story to a 20-year-old who is struggling? When I think about when I was 20 years old, if Iyanla was standing in her own way, I don't know where I would be. I was 20 years old when I bought Iyanla's first book. 20, I'm 47. I still sit at that woman's feet. I still sit at her feet and eat. We are that generation now. Those 20-somethings, those 30-somethings, they are looking for us for guidance. It is our time. It is our time. We're the aunties now. Hello. That's us. I don't know if you've hit that stage where somebody on the internet has called you, has, has uh, adopted you as their auntie, but I've been called auntie and pet a couple times. We are the aunties now. We the rich aunties at that. Come on now. Woo! <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 
sit in this truth for a couple seconds. Just sit in this truth. Sit in this.